So today's video is going to be what's on my iPhone 7 and I thought I would throw in and tell you guys a bit about my favorite apps. I think my top 5 favorite apps. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is my gold iPhone 7 Plus. It has the double camera in the back. I've heard it's for Zoom. Oh, by the way, disclaimer, this is not like a technical video. I am not a techie person. So if you're looking for that kind of review slash what's on my iPhone, you're not going to get that. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what's on it and just kind of tell you my overall thoughts. I do have a screen protector on it and I do usually have this case on it. It's an Apple case and I love the color. I'm obsessed with this color. It's so pretty. They have many options for colors of the case. It's like a hard silicone thing, I think. I don't know. And I like the color and it's sleek and yeah, I'd rather not have a case, but there's nothing I can do about it. My thoughts about the iPhone, at first I was really upset about the no headphone jack thing, but then I thought about it and I'm like, I have my Beats like headphones that are Bluetooth. I don't need a headphone jack. I've never used a headphone jack. Like I never, I barely even listen with my ear pods, but whatever, like it comes with headphones that have the lightning cable at the end. It comes with these, so you could just plug it in. And yes, a lot of people are like, well, you can't charge your phone and listen to music at the same time. How often do you really do that? I don't, I don't know. It's, I just really don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. These headphones don't change the quality at all. It's not any better, it's not any worse. So I don't really care about it. It's nothing special. It came in this box with a new charger, like cable, lightning cable along with these headphones and it also came with an adapter so if you really want to listen to your other headphone like use your other headphones you can plug this into your lightning cable thing and use this with your regular headphones like it doesn't matter there's it's not a big deal to me i will tell you that the camera quality is so much better it's definitely worth it if you can do the upgrade to do it because i just i think that the camera quality is so much better like so much better you can take some really good pictures on this oh uh, one more thing is that the button is like not really a button a lot of people had a hard time understanding that it's made out of the same glass that the laptops have it feels different it's not like a button let's go ahead and check out what's on my iphone so this is my home screen my wallpaper it's one of our pictures from the engagement like our engagement photo shoot right and then you swipe to the right and that's the camera <laughs> lord this is kind of creepy and then you swipe this way and it kind of just like tells you like your day and things like that. Oh, that's one of my favorite apps. I'm not going to like really talk in detail about like this, but I love Steve. Steve is adorable. It, he's on the sidebar. Oh, I suck at this game though. He's on the sidebar. It's like a sidebar game thing and I kind of easily get <laughs> distracted. And yes, you can see I have a reminder about Kylie Cosmetics. She's coming out with a new lipstick. I mean, not lipstick, um, lip kit today and I kind of want to buy it, so that's why you see that. Um, and then yeah, it tells you Siri app suggestions and you the weather and the top stories. Kim Kardashian, man, she got robbed in France. That's kind of creepy. This is my home screen. I have my apps. I don't have them in folders, and I'll get to that in a second because I don't like folders. This is my home screen. I have calendar, contacts, email, which I have to check my email, clearly. Um, Safari, YouTube, and the YouTube Studio app, music. Then we have iTunes Store, Camera, Photos, Voice Memos, Maps. Waze is definitely one of my favorite apps, but again, not one of the apps I'm going to talk to you about. It shows you the traffic. Um, like, if you're on your way to work and you all of a sudden get stuck in a traffic jam, like, it tells you exactly where the accident is or if, like, there's a cop around or anything. It tells you everything, pretty much. Weather bug, which we are tracking a huge hurricane that hopefully won't hit us. So, I like weather bug because it gives you, like, the radar and stuff. The hurricane should be... Where is the hurricane? Somewhere around here, I think. But whatever. Um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain today, pretty much. I have Duolingo, which I love. I've been practicing Italian since we're going to Italy on our honeymoon. And we have videos, which has all the videos that you've bought, like the movies that you've bought on iTunes. And then notes, reminders. I have my wedding folder, which honestly, I don't really use. My wedding planner is amazing, my mom. <laughs> then I have my health folder, which I used to use, but I don't really use that much anymore. I have my fitness pal, which again, I used to use a lot. Um, and basically it tracks how many calories you can eat a day to reach your goal. Then we have the My Water app, which I got from Zoe. It tells you how many 
cups of water you should drink a day or ounces of water you should um, drink a day and you're supposed to like track it every time you drink one but I don't use that much anymore. And then we have the 21 day fix app which I used to use when I did the 21 day fix seriously. I still do it and I have had like a lot of a great great results with it but I just don't use it that much anymore. The Blogilates app is amazing. If you want a quick workout you can definitely go here. You do it you do have to pay it's like a subscription service. Every month you have to pay 99 cents or something but it's amazing. I absolutely recommend it. Health um I think that's the one that came with the iPhone. We have the cardiograph which gives you your heart rate. You have the Weight Watchers mobile which I don't even use and the My Diet Coach which is very similar to the My Fitness Pal. I honestly don't use very many of these apps. I guess the ones that I really have use a lot where the my fitness pal the 21 day fix app we have the home app which i honestly don't even know what it is then we have the app store the find my iphone and my settings and then down here and the um the most used oops the most used apps we have the phone messages whatsapp and facetime moving on to the next screen we have social media we have facebook paper is pretty awesome because it's very similar to facebook it just gives you your news feed in like a different fashion i need to log in but i'm not gonna do that right now it gives you your it gives you like news as well it's really interesting i like paper a lot more than like the, uh, the other facebook app i guess we have facebook messenger we have moments which has to do with facebook as well and time hop which tells you things that like you posted in the years back and instagram boomerang instagram repost app snapchat twitter ifunny is hilarious i love it i use ifunny a lot blog love and i used to use when i ran my blog but i haven't done that in like a really long time so instapaper um basically you can store links to articles and things on instapaper i really like that app Tumblr, I used to use it. Had you asked me like three years ago what your favorite app was, it would have been Tumblr. Like I was always on Tumblr, but not so much anymore. Kick is another messaging thing, which I do use. Pinterest is definitely one of my favorite apps. I would say my number one favorite app. Definitely, oh, because I haven't logged in on this new phone yet. Definitely one of my top used apps because I'm getting inspiration for my home and my wedding and things like that. Musical.ly, I love Musical.ly, but I can't really show you. Um, then we have Vine, Uvu, Remind. Then we have Bitmoji, which has to do with Snapchat. This uh, is the Yankee Candle fundraising app because we're doing, we're running a fundraiser right now for my classes. So that is really just there for now. And then we have Hooked. Hooked is probably my favorite app. It's basically like uh, text stories. So like, let's open one identical no i want yeah it's, it's basically text stories unknown hi who is this hi my name is sarah like that and it's all really creepy stories i love it i definitely get really entertained i could sit there for hours and hours reading stories on hooked it's amazing then we have my the next page which is the music slash movies page i guess we have pandora spotify iHeartRadio, radio shazam which i absolutely love oh my god i love shazam Clear Tune, which is a tuner for instruments, metronome. I have two metronome apps. I don't know why because this one's honestly much better. It's a pro metronome app. We've got Virtuoso, which is a virtual piano. We got Facebook videos where you can download videos from your Facebook from the past. We've got GarageBand, any tune, which is amazing. You can take any song and change the key of it, which only musicians are gonna understand what I mean by that, but yeah. We've got Tabs, which is for guitar. Chord Bank, also for guitar. And Chords, also for guitar. Then Genius is definitely another one of my favorite apps basically anything you're listening to on your itunes library um it will pop up here like i was just listening to my screen most of my really rocky alternative music and it'll give you the lyrics and then it'll also give you the meaning of the lyrics it's amazing i absolutely love this app definitely one of my top favorite apps We've got SoundCloud, which is where I get some music for my videos, um, royalty free of course. And then we've got Netflix, Amazon Video, HBO Now, Watch, ESPN, FX Now, Fox Now, which are my TV show slash movie apps, I guess. Definitely use all of those a lot. We've got Sing, which I wanted to use because it's kind of like a karaoke app and I absolutely like love karaoke even though i'm not like the best singer ever but you have to pay for it so i'm kind of like i don't know i think i should delete that then we've got dub smash which used to be like really big like two years ago but it's not really so big anymore then we've got my photography page we have vsco which is an amazing editor amazing afterlight square ready live collage pick play post Pick play post is where you can do um collages with video in it pick collage is very similar to play 
post. I feel like they should be next to each other. Um, then we've got reflection, which is where you can post like a picture with, or like you can make a picture have a reflection. It's kind of cool. Flipogram, which is how I asked my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. I made them a flipogram. It's basically kind of like a slideshow of pictures. You can add music and text in it. So I did like a slideshow of pictures of us through the years for all five of my bridesmaids. And then I, in words, I asked, will you be my bridesmaid in text? And it was so cute. Then we have InstaQuote. We've got Enlight, which is another photo editing app. I'm just gonna keep going. Sorry if she's barking and annoying. We've got Facetune, which is how you clear pimples away from selfies and things like that. With Prisma, that's definitely in my top five apps. Oh my gosh, it's a photo editor as well, but it's not really what you would think. So I'm like, I'm gonna take a selfie right now. Duck face. So this is my selfie and you can kind of make, you can kind of edit the picture to look like anything you want. My favorite one is, where is it? Is it this one? No, I think it's Aviator, the one next to it, but yeah, no, that one makes me look weird. I think it's Aviator. That's my favorite. Yeah, that, it makes you look like cartoonish. It's super cute. I absolutely love it. Video Star is um, where you can create music videos. It's definitely for my nieces, not for me. I don't really use that. Then we have the ca Canon Connect. Canon Camera Connect, which is for my vlogging camera. Um, I take Instagram pictures on that and it connects through the Wi-Fi and I can have them on my phone so I can post them on Instagram. It's amazing. Then we have iMovie, which I don't really use on phones. We have two pages of games. I'm just gonna go through really quickly what my favorite games are. Definitely Smash It is one of my favorite. Um, Heads Up and Charades are awesome. I definitely play with my nieces a lot. I love Candy Crush. I love 2048 and 1010. Let's see if it helps, if it lets me. It does. Okay, so 2048, your goal, oh, come on. Your goal is to like get the like numbers. I've been playing this game for years. I love this game so much. So yeah, that's 2048, and then 1010, it's about shapes. It's kind of like Tetris, it reminds me of Tetris. And you have to like put the shapes, and once you get like a row, it kind of disappears. I it would let me get a row so I could show you. Yeah, it kind of disappears like that. Love that game, it's amazing. I have the Kylie Jenner app and the Kim Kardashian app as well. Over here, I have uh, my utilities kind of thing. Okay, 1Password is definitely one of my favorite pass uh, one of my favorite apps. So basically, it stores all your password. If you're like me and you forget your passwords for everything, which, oh my God, it happens to me so much, um, you need to start logging in into this app. I think you have to pay for it, but I think I bought it when there was like a sale, so it was amazing. But basically, it stores your, like, like your username and passwords for everything. But yeah, that's that app. Definitely one of my top favorite apps. The My AT&T app. Mint is a budgeting app. Then I have my bank accounts, I have PayPal, Venmo, which are, have to do with money, um, Ticketmaster, which I use a lot because I go to a lot of concerts, TripAdvisor, Foursquare, Yelp, and then TripIt and ZocDoc is how you can find doctors that are under your insurance and stuff. Over here I have like my shopping stuff, Amazon Prime Now, eBay, Etsy, which I use a lot, Fandango, Sephora, CVS, Starbucks, 1-800-CONTACTS, which if you use on um, the app, you get like a huge amount of discount like the first time you use it so that's why I have that. Um, the Chili's app, Bed Bath & Beyond, Walgreens, Gas Buddy is definitely another one of my favorite apps and here's why. It tells you the cheapest gas near you. Um, so like see the average price is $2.25 near me, the lowest price is $2.03 near me um, and then it like gives you the closest gas stations to you so you can get the cheapest gas. My deals is kind of like coupons and stuff. Groupon, I love so much. Ibotta and Ebates are amazing. I'll leave my referral link down below for Ebates so you can get like $10, I think it is. Basically, every time you shop, you get a certain amount, like, amount of cash back. Um, Sephora, they have like 4% cash back. So if you spend like a certain amount of money, uh, any amount of money, you'll get 4% back of that. I've already gotten one check, I think it was, it was for like $40, um, but they don't give you a check until you reach uh, like $20, I think it is. Um, but if you click on my referral link, then you get a certain amount of money. I think it's like $10 to start or something like that. I bought it as basically grocery stuff. I have a freaking account, but it's like not logging me in, but whatever. Um, if When you go to Publix, if things are on sale on Ibotta, then you can like, 
you have to take a picture of your receipt and like upload it to the app and they'll give you like a certain amount of cash back as well. This last page is basically all the things that I don't really use that much. So that is everything that is on my iPhone. Oh, if you could see the background picture, I forgot to mention that earlier. It was also taken the day of our engagement. No, it was taken the day he asked me to marry him. It was amazing. Um, we have the Scrabble tiles that spell L-O-V-E that was taken right before he asked me to marry him. He replaced the O with the ring. It was amazing. If you haven't seen my like engagement story, which I'll leave down below. Like I'll link it down below. It's life updates plus I'm engaged video um i basically told that whole story but yeah that's how he asked me to marry him and i love that picture so it's like the background of my iphone so that is everything that's on my iphone i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it means the world to me and i'll see you in my next video bye